We are at the Orange County Speedway for the 15th race of Season 2 of the SUR Wrangler Jeans Bush Creek National Series. The one car of Carter Friesian will be leading us to the green flag. Start beside him is the 97 of Joshua Rush. The rest of the star lineup for today's race. Points leader Jack Legacy is starting in the 14th position. This is the first time ever we are racing here at Orange County. Like I said before, at the Hickory race, this track, the AI is broken. I can't do nothing about it, so we're just going to race this track. Whatever happens, happens. And unfortunately, we will have to return to this track three more times here in Season 2. So, yeah, I can't do anything about it. We're doing actual NASCAR uh, schedule from 1982. Well, actually, 1983. So, yeah. Orange County, I mean, this track is beautiful. 0 0.375 mile oval. I mean, take a look at this track. It is amazing. The view is incredible. The racing is not. So, Carter Friesian and the one car will be leading us to the green flag. Of course, this is just the full-time drivers. The part-time drivers will return in the next event at South Boston. And without any further ado, here are the most famous words in all of motorsports. Drivers, start your engines! The field is rolling off. And look at Eli Bright. He won the last race at Hickory, and he's starting shotgun today. That's how fast your uh, momentum can change here in this series. Pull them belts tight. We are racing 20 laps here at Orange County. And Carter Friesian puts the hammer down. We're racing for the first time here at Orange County. Joshua Rush, if they run on the outside, Trying to lead the first ever lap at this track. Down the back stretch. And a turn number three. Joshua Rush for one. And it'll be the 97 who will lead the first ever laps at this track. So that might be a trivia question down the line. Who was the first driver to lead a lap at Orange County and the Bush Series? It'll be Joshua Rush. And a turn number three. Joshua goes way wide. But he's able to maintain his race lead as we complete the first <clears throat> of two laps. 18 to go. Carter Friesian trailing the field. Mahamil is in third. Fourth is Ryan Boyer. And fifth is Sebastian Torres. Torres has had a good few runs the past few races. Finished in the top five. He also picked up a win at Dover. As you see, the field has kind of spread out a little bit. There's our championship points leader. Jack Legacy has moved up into the top 15. Whoa, he goes a little bit wide. Here comes Riley Spilly Tube in the double zero. Just can't get around Chris Kyle. I'm surprised we have not yet had Rex yet because I, I built it up as we're going to have Rex, but... Uh, this track is very confusing. Sometimes you will have wrecks, other times you won't. As Joshua Rush continues to hold the race, here comes the seven. Uh, Matt Hamill trying to go for his first career SCRL sanctioned win. Just can't get the bite. As here comes the one, Carter Friesian. Trying to pass Joshua Rush. Just can't get any grip on this flat track for the most part. 
Joshua has pulled away a little bit. Seven hundredths of a second lead. As we go through the rest of the field again. Al Legacy. Jack Legacy is on the high side. Not good for this track. Basically another snooze fest. If you don't like short tracks, you're not going to like the next few races. Because that's all the Bush Series was back in 1983, really, was short tracks. Except for Daytona, Charlotte, uh, Dover's technically a short track, North Carolina, and yeah, that's it. And of course, our season finale will be at Martinsville, another short track. As we get the halfway mark, 10 laps down, 10 to go. In fact, Martinsville is going to be the uh, season finale for a quite a few number of seasons. Let's see, all the way up till season, uh, let me see, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so the first 10 seasons, the season finale will be at Martinsville. In season 11, it'll be Hickory, so that'll be pretty cool. And Joshua Rush goes way wide, but he's able to maintain his race lead as the snooze fest continues. I mean, unless you're Joshua Rush, this ain't a snooze fest. He's cheering his heart on. He wants this win bad. He wants to go down as the inaugural race winner. There will forever be a first-time winner at this track, the inaugural race winner. He can compare himself to names like Jeff Gordon, who have won in their... Oh, we got a crash. Oh, Alexo Antonio. Oh, Joshua Rush trying to maintain his race lead. Here comes Carter Friesian on the outside. It'll be... Oh, Carter got it. Oh, boy. And did that end the race? I have no idea, but we shall take a look at the first caution of the day. So here's the cause of the caution. The 33, Alexio Antonio, our Daytona race winner, running in the 27th spot. Just starts smoking. Something mechanical broke on that car. It's just not been the season for Alexio Antonio. I mean, he won Daytona. That was the high point of his season and his career. But ever since then, he's had bad luck. And then James Stabilito in the number 98 car... For the second race in a row, runs into the back of someone else. Eli Bright runs to the back of James Stabilito. And, yeah. James Stabilito pulls around Alexo Antonio, as does Eli Bright. And Alexo stalls on the backstretch right in front of traffic. Look at Joshua Rush. Just squeezes by. And, luckily, everybody else is able to avoid the stalled 33. Except... Look at Sebastian Torres. He barely squeezes by. And now check this out. We are racing back to the line. Joshua Rush is our race leader. Carter Friesian gets a run on the high side thanks to the 23 of Sam and Oskin in front of these drivers. And they are racing it to the line. Carter gets a strong run on the high side and just barely beats Joshua Rush back to the line. Why is that important? Well, it's important if this caution ends the race. And Carter just beat Joshua by that much. Now, that's if the race is over. If not, we're probably going to have a one or two lap uh, shootout to determine who will win. But that would be the margin of victory if the race is over. Which we will find out when we clean this mess up on the back strip. We'll take you back to the restart if there is one. So here's the deal. We are going to have a one lap shootout. Alexo Antonio is out. He broke a piston. Carter Friesian is our race leader. Second is Joshua Rush. Third, Matt Hamill. Fourth is Ryan Boyer. And fifth is Joe Jefferson. So this is it. One lap to see who will win the inaugural race here at Orange County. Carter has to have the restart of his life. Pace car pulls in. One lap to go. The green and the white are out. Slow restart and we're back to racing. And he got a good jump on Joshua Rush. And to turn one and to turn two, Joshua Rush trying to close in. 
Down to back stretch for the final time. Carter just has two more turns. He goes a little wide. Off the final turn, it'll be Carter Friesian winning the inaugural race here at Orange County. Well, you know, at least we had a green flag finish and a first time winner. Harry races Oates. Carter Friesian scores his first career SCRL Bushka National Series win. Second is Joshua Rush. Third, Matt Hamill. Fourth, Ryan Boyer. Fifth, Joe Jefferson. Sixth, Sebastian Torres. Seventh, Gallon Downey. Eighth, Nick Kennedy. Ninth is Matt Boyer. And tenth is Connor Hurley. Best year race was Oates. Points leader Jack Legacy finished 13th. His closest championship contender, Kat Kawatline, finished 11th. Best year race results, we had 32 drivers finish the race on the lead lap. No one was a lap down, and the only driver out was Daytona race winner Alexa Antonio out due to a broken piston. So that is it for the first ever race here at Orange County. We will take you to victory lane, if there is one, with the number one of Carter Friesian. No, there's not. Here are your point standings at the 15th race of the season at Orange County. Jack Legacy is still our points leader. He has a 47-point lead over Keiko Whiteline. Third is Derek Hamill, 88 points behind. Fourth is Riley Spurley, 119 points behind. And fifth is Jay Jefferson, 129 points behind. Sixth is Al Legacy. Seventh is Gene Carnello. Eighth is Jackie Fitzwater. Ninth, Simon Oskin. And tenth is Sammy Sabby Jr. Eleventh is Matt Boyer. Twelfth, Diego Yepes. Thirteenth, Brian Fox. Fourteenth, James Stablito. 15th is Sebastian Torres, 16th is Gatlin Downey, 17th is Chris Kyle, 18th is A.J. Jones, 19th is Maria Valverin, and 20th is Ryan Boyer. 21st is Matt Hamill, 22nd is Joshua Rush, came oh so close to getting that first Bush win at Orange County, just came up second. 23rd is Connor Hurley, 24th Henry Urchman, 25th is Alexo Antonio, 26th is Carter Friesian, who won Orange County. 27th is Daniel Grichach. 28th is Toby Fox. 29th is Eli Bright. And 30th is Nick Kennedy. 31st is Patrick Smith. 32nd is Eric Wayne. 33rd is Marco Jepez. 34th is Joe Jefferson. 35th is Truttle. 36th is Zaptos Amaritos. 37th is Gustav and Arachoa. 38th is Christian Vargas. 39th is Colin Vargas. And 40th is Tony Newman. 41st is Marcus Sanchi, 42nd is Oreo Centaur, and last in points is Kaka Silverpaw. So that is your point, Santa, is at the 15th race of the season at Orange County. We will next see you at the 16th race of the season at the South Boston Speedway. And until then, keep the hammer down, and we'll see you at the track.